do. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. The glory of the Lord. You have heard the, the reading of the text for today. And I'm just going to share with you up front. We had a long weekend last weekend. Yes, 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 yes. And we have an extended day today. Because we are coming back at three yes. to witness the initial sermon of our own brother, Ivy Hopkins. Yes. Yes. So, what I'm trying to say to you is I am going to be going That is a promise. <laughs> that is a promise. This particular text, as it was read, I encourage you to go back to verse 1 of chapter 9. Read about the conversion of Saul becoming Paul. Read about that disciple Peter who begins to operate out of Christ's love that he has for him and begins to heal, begins to transform, and begins to begins to show the power of God. Chapter 9 helps us to see what we are about to witness in this particular text. Verse 31 opens up with Peter healing Aeneas. Aeneas is paralyzed and has been paralyzed for eight years. Peter shows up on the scene. Peter makes a gesture and says to Aeneas, you have been made well in the name of Jesus Christ. Aeneas gets up. Aeneas is healed. We move down to verse 36. You begin to see this transformative moment that is indicative of what God is able to do in those that he chooses. Tabitha is introduced. 36 begins off saying that here is a disciple in Joppa, Tabitha. Her Greek name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and always helping the poor. Yes. About this time, about this time makes reference to the peace that is occurring in the regions of Judea, Galilee, and Samaria. There's a moment of peace that the religious institution is experiencing. And so we find ourselves being introduced to a woman during a peaceful time who is always doing good and always helping the poor. As she is doing good, for some reason she gets sick and dies right there on the spot. The next move of those that she is serving, those call on Peter because they know Peter is right down the road in a town called Lydia. Here comes Peter. Peter 
Peter does what Peter does because he's a disciple of Jesus Christ. He resurrects Tabitha. He puts all of them out that are up in the upper room crying and waving. These weren't professional mourners like some instances that we see in the New Testament. These are folks who are really experiencing the pain of losing their sister Tabitha. And so Peter puts them all out. Unlike the healers that you see on CBN and TBN and the Word Network, where they do all their healing in front of everybody so that they can see. Peter said, no, 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 no. You need to get on out of here so I can do the work that I need to do. Puts them out, turns to Tabitha, says, Tabitha, get on up. Tabitha gets up. And she's restored back to her community. Thank you. Let us bow and let us pray. Gracious and eternal God, we say thank you. God, we give you the praise, the glory, and all of the honor. God, we thank you for what you are doing in our midst today. And God, in this short offering and rendering of your word, we ask that you, Lord, would allow us to get in, see it, and then move that we might be transformative presences in our own community. Bless us now. Let the words that fall from your servant's lips fall on ground that is fertile. Take root, deep root in the hearts of men, women, boys, and girls, and then sprout up to be the beautiful flower that you so desire. God, let me say this. God, I, I am broken. I am messed up. Your servant isn't the greatest and the best. But God, I ask that you would remove me and allow your people to see you. God, we thank you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Allow me to get in and to use as a subject, you can't keep a good woman down. For too long, Women have been forced to the margins, muzzled, muted, and missed by many in society today. It is unfortunate and a sad commentary that in 2019 we are still debating the worth of women in our midst. If you don't believe me, turn on the TV or listen in on the water cooler conversations on your job. Women's Month causes us to pause and reflect on the beauty and the strength and the worth of women in our midst. History has not been kind and has not shown the worth and contribution of women and their dedication to the development of the world in which we live in. From political action to social action to civic and religious forms, women have played major roles in making these communities across the globe better for all of those that live in it. And in our text today, I wish not to focus on the disciple Peter, for he is lifted up as the hero in this text. We often go straight to the miracle that Peter does in the resurrection of Tabitha, but I want to talk about that other disciple. That female disciple, the one mentioned only once in the New Testament. Matheria is the indication that is given to her in the designation as a female disciple. This, this one whose story is skirted around, Brother Avi, and glossed over by major biblical commentators, primarily from the viewpoints of men and not that of women. Allow me to extrapolate on this text and lift up the story of our dear sister Tabitha. Tabitha was a good woman that you couldn't keep down. And this may sound strange to some and odd to others, but very real in a sense and saying that Tabitha was the real hero, or should I say, she wrote in this text. Come on now. For it is the story of Tabitha that motivates us to become the very best that we can for those that we serve around us. It is Tabitha us to operate in the very gifts that God has given to us. When you operate in your God-given gifts, don't you know that the people that are around you, the people that are recipients of your serving, will get the very best from God when you give your best. And just like 
the women missed down throughout history, uh, white women, black women, Asian women, Indian women, Tabitha was missed right here in this story. Her story matters to us. Her story is a story that en encourages us to live in such a way that meets the greatest needs of those in our communities. And when you take time in between the healing of Aeneas and the resurrection of Tabitha, you will see the great work of this great sister named Tabitha because it says in the Bible that she was a female disciple and that because she was a female disciple, she always did good and was always helping the poor. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the life of Tabitha, the life of Tabitha helps us to see three things that represent the sister servant in her. Come on now, I, I need you to be with me because I'm going to be done real quick. She was committed to Christ, that's number one. Two, she was connected to the community, that's number two. And three, and because of these two, committed to Christ, connected to the community, there was a cure for the cry. Come on now, let's see here. See here what Tabitha's doing. We know that Tabitha was committed to Christ because her story opens up with the writer identifying her as a disciple. Nowhere else do you see women identified as disciples, let alone a female disciple. Tabitha is known as one who is always doing the right thing. This is the only occurrence where we see the disciple referred to in the feminine gender. As a woman disciple, she was faithful to the call of Christ in her life. And we know this because the text says that she was always doing good and always helping the poor. Yeah. Listen to what the New American Standard Translation says in Acts 9.36. It says, this woman was abounding with deeds of kindness and charity, which she continually did. Oh, we got some sisters in here today that I know who are abounding and doing great works around this church in their community, doing what God Relationships 
cause her to be present in a moment for the needs of those that were in her community. So when you follow Christ, you're going to have a deep connection to those in the community because God said you need to go out into the ends of the earth and proclaim my name, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You got relationships.
herself to the point where she has cared so much that she has neglected her own heart. Come on. Clark, the grandmother of all the American 
civil rights movement, I see you to madam and food way to new boo, the Nigerian born political and business player who campaigned against the influence of the British Empire over our people and the elimination of slavery.